Okay. Here we go. Now, you're probably wondering why I don't sound like really enthusiastic. Well, I just found out my mother's sick and it's probably a death threatening, a life threatening uh, disease and I'm a little bit having a, I nearly have, I'm nearly having an emotional breakdown and I'm trying to keep it in is the best way I can. So, pretty much I'm just telling you guys this because I don't know what she has, she doesn't have COVID, but I'm worried about her and so does my stepdad, he has the same thing. And it's worrying me, so with your guys' prayers, please, can you pray to see if they'll survive this? Because they're the only thing I really have left. Um, Shadow, Darth, if you hear about this, it would be nice to hear that about this. So please uh, talk to me. I mean, talk to me this coming weekend, so thank you. Um, so today we are doing one shot of what if, uh, Naru we're going to do a one shot of what if Naruto was the reincarnation of horror sans. Um, now in this one, now horror didn't really have like a bad, nor did he have like a good childhood. Pretty much he's been living alone, but it doesn't mean he's been raised horribly. It just means that he had an okay life. There's nothing bad, nor is there nothing good. Now, when we get to Naruto, Naruto's been pretty much treated as a normal person. He wasn't treated as like a freak by anyone, in fact. In fact, he was treated like a kid. Now, <clears throat> Naruto is Horror Sans, legitimately. Like, he is Horror Sans. However, the downside is he still has his uncontrollable craving of human flesh sometimes. Which doesn't mean he does it. He doesn't literally eat people. He only eats his enemies, is the best way of saying this. Now, when Naruto started going down um, to pretty much the academy, everyone expects him. Like, they don't show fear. They show respect to him. Even though he has a reputation of being a cannibal, which no one really scared of that much. In fact, the fact they don't even see it as much of a fear thing, but more of like, please don't eat me. We don't want to get hurt, type of thing. Like he care, like they care for Naruto, but they care about him being on their him being on their good side the most. So that's why Naruto and Sasuke actually get along pretty well. Now, Sasuke in this one is actually Naruto's biological brother. Yes, Naruto is an Uchiha in this one. I, a lot of people have, have requested it, so I thought, why not? I mean, that's not sound bad. So that's what I did. I pretty much made that. Huh. Okay, there's uh, one way to answer. Now, Naruto... <coughs> he's a good... Kid. Now, we start with Naruto pretty much in the academy, where they practice their jutsus, but due to Naruto being special, he passes due to his extremely powerful magic. Now, when Naruto started going down, now he heard about, about this curse. Now, this curse is something. I think a curse of a legendary ornament that greens immense power. A.K. he realized it was actually his own soul. Naruto didn't really pay attention to it. Like, he didn't really show that much interest in the artifact. However, the ninjas think it could be something useful against their enemies. Naruto thinks differently. He thinks that it could probably bring the opposite of good. He thinks it could bring death and destruction. So Naruto pretty much did what any nin noticeable ninja would do and destroy it, which cost him being banned from the village. So when I say we're starting at the village, we're not starting at the your normal everyday a village where you actually start off something else. <clears throat> now. Naruto 
Naruto has actually been pretty much been holding on on his own, but it doesn't mean he's lonely. Pretty much the Uchiha, aka Sasuke, has pretty much forgot about him over the years. So Naruto is now in his 20s, and Sasuke is also in his 20s, and he married Hinata. Uh, so pretty much the ship is different. Now when Naruto, he's married to, I'm going to say, Gara. Not a male, not a female Gara, but a male Gara. So Naruto has heard. So Naruto has heard about the village now, looking for him. Now, pretty much, we start off. By the way, all the shit that's happened to Madara and all that hasn't happened yet. So we're looking through that one. One. But the rest happened without Naruto. Is the best way of saying it. Like all that already happened. But Naruto doesn't care because he's okay with his brother being happy. So, when Naruto pretty much closed down his gate, when Naruto pretty much started walking to the store with his husband, Gara, pretty much they just hear, Hello, Na Hello Naruto. Huh? Oh. Hey. Hey, Hokage. Did you need something? Just wanted to see if you were alright. Uh-huh. Why the real reason you're here? You really don't trust me, do you? No. Are you still mad that I destroyed the, the relic? It could have been useful, Naruto. Yeah, in the wrong hands. So, I can tell by you mentioning that, you don't, you're still mad about it. So, and you know you attack me, you pretty much declare a war on the sand village. And you know, me being the strongest, you can't win. You're right, I can't win. It's it too. Must be desperate. So why are you here, Okage? I came to ask for the Sankage's help. The Sankage is on a pe is on a treaty with another their clan. And so until he comes back, he left me in charge. So you can ask me what you want. We're having problems with a leader, an enemy. There's a lot of enemies. What I'm saying is, we're having trouble with... We're being attacked, is the best way of saying it. We've been attacked by pretty much a lot of enemies. Okay. Technically, you're not giving me yeah, nothing. I know you want me to help you, Naruto, like Sat Hokage, but unfortunately, we have other things to worry about. And that is, we've been having our own problems. And that is, well, for starters, we begin an increase of attacks around the village. So, until this is covered, the only thing we can do is pretty much have, is, well, only one thing. So, that doesn't mean we won't talk, though. So, come on. Um, thank you. Don't thank me. Because I would have said no. I see. I'm glad you do. Come on. Okay, thanks. Don't thank me yet. 
We have a lot of we have a lot to do. I see. Well Anywho, thank you for... I'm willing to hear you out, is what I'm saying. Oh, uh, okay. So, you've been having trouble with people. Yeah, we have. And what are these? And they're mostly, what, bandits? They call themselves the people of the dead, meaning people who, uh, well... It'll attack people on sight. They're mostly bandits, but they're not really that big of a threat until now. So what I'm hearing is they didn't become a threat until later. Yeah. What you've been doing. Searching for another piece of an artifact. Hmm. Uh figured. Also, we've been getting requests about an arranged marriage for you, East Magnarto. I'm already married. What? You heard me. I'm already married. I'm a full-fledged villager of the Sand Village. You're not a ninja? No. Oh. Gara, my husband, wanted me to keep stay out of the fighting. He wanted to make sure if we ever adopt a child. Sorry about that. If he ever want, if we ever wanted a child, we go to well. He didn't want me to get hurt. Oh, I see. <laughs> what happened to your dream becoming a Hokage? I gave up on that dream a long time ago. Now I just run a normal everyday shop. What shop do you run? Oh, nothing too big. Hey, just a coffee shop. Oh. <laughs> ah, I see. So, what brings you here, Kage? Besides, well, the other thing. That's about it. But what about your problems? Maybe we help you, we help me, I help you. I see what you're trying to do, Kage. Okay. Hey, this is something we can't you know, we can handle ourselves. And besides, you can't get involved. You're a ninja. Ninjas, especially of the village that I'm talking about, don't help people. And I know that pretty damn well. I mean, why else would you come to us now? Well, you make a of course I do. I know you like the back of my hand. You won't come here for no reason. You're right, I wouldn't. The reason I came here now is because, like I, you said, we need help. I figured that quickly. See? But you're not telling me why you need help. There's a lot of particular reasons why you would want help. Well, mostly it's because we've been getting reports of a a um, peace. Yes, a peace. Well, it's not around here, that's what you're saying. Even if it was, I wouldn't show it to you. I see. So you're not going to help us. Sorry, Hokage. My answer is no. You're gonna have to wait until the Tsukage comes back. I... I see. Is that all? 
Yeah. That's all. Good to know. Now, Don Amizuku. What? I mean, not Izuku Naruto. If that's all, I would love to pretty much move on. Hokage. Because I can tell there's a new Anubu. I mean, your Abus are now around here. And you pretty much worn out your welcome, Kage. You're just gonna have to wait until the San Kage comes back. I understand. Do you? Doesn't seem like it. I do. I hope for your sake, Kage, you do. Is that a threat? It's wisdom. I don't want you to attack us for no reason. It is the best way to say it. Understandable? Well, then I understand your wishes. Do you? Now that you know my, my work, my answer, please leave. Very well. And that's when pretty much the Hokage leaves. asking us for help. Why? They found a piece. Oh. A piece of what? Remember that cloth I told you to hide? That, uh, cloth of Eden? Yeah? I, yeah. What about your creed? Your, the people you work with? The hidden ones? Don't worry. I already told about the Hoka told them about the Hokage being working with the Templars. They found out pretty quickly. I see. And they're okay with me being you and they're okay with me knowing this? You're a ninja. And plus the Kage that you help with is also so an assassin. That's why he's on a mission and that's why I'm in charge. At least until he gets back. This is when Izuku starts, this is when Naruto pretty much starts walking. When Naruto pretty much senses someone, he immediately straight attacks someone with a bone. I'm disappointed in you, Sasuke. I can't believe you joined the Templars. Same with you. I can't believe you joined the Creed. We're not gods. We do not uh, deserve that kind of power. We could help people. Or destroy it. Do you truly doubt us? Yes, I do. And I'm afraid so to say it. The chaos that will bring if we bring that thing to our world. It will end up destroying or corrupting. I noticed it pretty quick. Don't think acting innocent will help you. I have noticed the corruption in the Hokage. What do you want me to do? We can't disobey his orders. No. You can't or you refuse. It, 
Nor Sasuke got the speak. I see. So you decided to be a loyalist. At least I didn't betray my country and destroy an artifact we could use to bring peace. Willingly or forcefully? There are two different types of peace. The peace of blood and the peace of hope. So tell me, Kage, how did the other villages become peace with the Blade Village? Through, well, through blackmail and intimidation. A real Kage wouldn't use force. A Kage would use wisdom. And it won't attack someone unwillingly. You know it, and I know it. But knowing your pride, Sasuke, you bury that lie to convince yourself it's the truth. Correct? This is when I think Narp Sasuke is just draws a kunai. I'm disappointed in you, brother. Ichi would be disappointed. Before Sasuke could do anything, this is when pretty much a kunai hits his throat. And he sees Ichi wearing an Assassin's Creed along with Obito and the others. Wow. You knew that was going to happen, didn't you? From the start. I knew that he was going to pull that stunt. But it still hurts me that I had to kill that we had to kill him. It was for the safety of the village and for the people. I know. Still. It hurts. find a way. We always do. <sighs> Alright. Let us go. Naruto? At the same... I want to say yes, but I know I'd be lying to myself. Truthfully, I do not know. The pain in my heart knows I did the right thing, but... It also knows I cared for my brother. I was hoping to convince him join our cause, but Naruto. He chose his side. And he chose the opposite. I know. Still, my heart, hey, my heart, my heart still aches. Sometimes the most difficult decision is the right one. Anyway, Sensei wants to talk to you. Oh, does he? Yes. This is when Naruto sees the sensei. Hello, Madara. Hello, Sus. Hello, Naruto. Is it done? Sadly, yes. I know what you're thinking. It wounds me still. I also had to kill my brother in order to stop him from giving this ornament to the Templars. I know, Sensei. I know it is not easy, but nor is anything easy, because once you go on that path, it is a great deal of difficulty to come in, and to accept yourself. Remember that, Naruto. Yes, Grandpa. for the greater good. <sighs> Alright. What 
what do you want us to do now? We found an art. We found out what he was looking for. What is he looking for? He is looking for the pe another piece of the Eden. It's called the Eden skull. A skull. It's from the Native Americans from South Africa. They brought it here. Back then, it was actually just a massive alley of ocean. But this was way before the ninja clans were even formed. And when kindness was still in our hearts, now it's just a dead thing. Hi, Sensei. What do you want me to do? I want you to bring this piece. I know it sounds difficult, but it'd be worth it. Okay. And I know it's the good for the clan, but I know Naruto. I know. Just pull on to your heart. I don't remember Sensei. And this one they start walking. The skull of Eden. That's gonna be interesting. How are we gonna get that? Uh, you got an idea, Obito? Not really. Besides, we don't even know where this skull of Eden is. It could be anywhere. Here. We're gonna have to talk down some Templars. Yeah, we are. How are you old enough, buddy? Not that great. It's difficult, I know. But he chose his way, and we choose ours. Truthfully, there's no such thing as an easy life when it comes to this. pray. for? And plus, what are friends for? You're right. <sighs> Let's go. This one I just start walking. By the way, Naruto, huh? What religion do you believe in? I've been meaning to ask. Mmm, Christian. I guess I believe. Actually, truth be told, I don't know. My mind is wandering. Because if God wanted to create us, why would he create such artifacts? Now that's a good question. And truthfully, a, a brilliant answer. No one will ever find out. Could be from anything, really. So we can only hope.
and sibling fight. should go. All right. Why don't we go to uh, get something for your husband? I'm sure Gogo would love something. Is it your anniversary? Oh, yeah, it is. Thanks for reminding me, Yobito. And this is when Naruto starts walking. Huh. You're a good kid, Naruto. You just have a questionable past. Oh, I forgot to mention, Naruto does... Remember his past? Now, when Naruto started walking, being back, pretty much Naruto just tried to be happy. But he knew in his heart he had to stop him. But his heart still questions. It always will. You gotta treasure what you love before you lose everything. It's the best way of saying it. Now, when Naruto gets to the shop, he finds a little a ring. And a weird looking, well not a skull, but a weird looking medallion. Doesn't look ceremonial. Well, this bag looks quite the opposite of ceremonial. Looks like the type of shit you wear in a china shop. Hmm. He takes it to his husband, who Gara just got home. Hey, babe. Huh? Oh, hey. Hey, honey. Did you need something? Got you something. Happy anniversary. You didn't. I did. I didn't get you anything. You with me is the best anniversary gift a man can ever have. That's when they both kiss. Yeah, great story and all, but ow, ruin the moment, don't you two? No, Obito and, and Ichi. <laughs> Sorry, bro, but uh, we have someone to interrogate. Is it a Templar? Yeah. Ah. By the way, we heard that you were talking to the Hokage. What was that about? Ugh. The Hokage wanted me to help him with something, but I turned him down. Hey, Kaius! <laughs> Has a, a mean to an end. Remember, Templars can see things that assassins can't. Huh. So, you got an idea? Yeah, it's a dumb idea, but it might work. They're gonna be looking everywhere for the person who pretty much killed their, who killed e Sasuke. Still taking it hard. Every day, truth be told, it still hurts my soul. But we must move on, huh? Yep. Because if we don't move on, we just turn. Earn it to the people that we become. Okay. So, you have anything information about this skull of Eden? It's a type type of recommendation. The skull allows you to see through the eyes of the past. That's, that's impossible. There's chakra gods. I think anything's possible, and you know it. Sometimes I hate it when you're right, brother. You know that? I do too, but we don't get what we like. And this one, pretty much, they just hear. This one, Naruto, starts noticing someone about to try to assassinate Nagara, but this one, a piastro pops up. Don't even think about it. 
Hey, Naruto. Seriously, Kakashi? You joined the Templars too? What? No! Oh, I didn't join the Templars. You're fucking nuts. What? I joined the Creed. Prove it. This is when he shows the hidden blade and the logo of the Creed on his arm. Oh. Wait. Full, last, and middle name. The cop. My name is Kakashi. See, Soberin. Prince Edward. Son of Enwin Edward. They're also known as Blackbeard's son. Yep, you're him. Oh, no, no. How do we know that's him? Because all assassins, because no one would dare to say that their father's a pirate without a reason. Especially if that pirate is this guy. I, he points at Kakashi. So, let me get this straight. You're related to the famous pirate. Yeah. Not in a shameful way, anyway. That's actually kind of cool. Really? Really? That's badass. Oh, uh, thank you. No problem. Um, so why were you about to assassinate Hina? I wasn't. I was going to deliver a message that he shouldn't go on his next mission because the Kage has sent Sakura. Sakura? She's a member of the Templar. She's been the one who's been researching about this Skull of Eden. I was really hoping she didn't. Okay. Well, thank you for telling me, Kakashi. Hey, you saved my life more than once. Don't think I haven't noticed. In fact, that's half the reason why I joined, joined the squad. Because I saved you more than once? That and also, he pops out the hidden blade. This is so cool. <laughs> ah, you're a nerd. I can't help it, man. This looks fucking cool. You can call me a weirdo all you want, but this looks cool. I'm sorry, but I have to go nerd. You're fine, Sasuke. You're fine, Kakashi. Now, we should probably focus on a pretty... Damn. Sorry about that, guys. So, what did you say? Hey. Well, we've been trying to contact you, but you were always in the shadows, Naruto. No one would expect a what? A jewelry store? A jeweler? To. Well, be an assassin of the Creed. Yeah, that would actually. Com that would actually shock a lot of people. How many people did it truly shock? Oh, a lot. Like, wow. I uh, like everyone nearly like a lot of people was not expecting you to be a ninja. Oh I bet. I mean if I was them, I would never expect them to be for me to be a ninja as well. And in fact, that would probably be the last thing I would expect. Isn't that right? What about Gara? Does he if he didn't know, they would have killed him like There we go. Sorry about that, guys. Mm, yeah, you're right. But we have other information. Is it involving my boyfriend? Is it involving my husband? Because, well, no, it's actually quite the opposite. As a matter of fact, it's not even involving your husband. No. In fact, it's quite different. It's involving someone else. Who? That's the thing. We don't know. All we know is the person we're looking for has complete immunity over the go over the Eden's corruption. Who? 
We don't know. All we know is it's big. And a lot of people have been looking for this kid. Kid? Yeah, this kid's around five to six years old. So it could be anybody. Yeah. Hell, it could be... It couldn't even be a he. It could be a she. That's how much information we know. Oh. <laughs> That's going to be difficult. Yeah, it is. That's half the reason why we came to you. Because we knew that this was going to happen. But we didn't know how to react. Understandable. Mm -hmm. Have you tried? Tried anything? Dude, we literally tried... Thanks for trying to cheer. Anywho, Gara, how have you been? And how was the missions? Pretty good. Now, about this person who's immune to the Eden pieces? We got some of them. The Dagger of Eden and the Bow of Eden. So obviously these were not from this country. So the theory of them being in different countries are correct. Yeah, this is obviously from a native tribe. Way, way before us. Hell, way before, before Chaka was even a thing. Back then, it was known as... Um... Al... Not alchemy, but, uh... Another type of ability. Which is called... No one knows. Seriously? No one knows? No one. One bit. I see. All right. Any history I'm on it? The legend has it that the skull of Eden was once a proud chieftain known as the Tudon, an ancient and naval race that's actually been and known to use this unknown power that allowed them to, to talk to spirits. Back then, it was known as voodoo. very powerful spell indeed what could it do it could literally do the impossible corrupt the dead turn them makes people resurrect people from the dead even people but like oh even Madara dares not face these guys who know voodoo they're extremely powerful and they're extremely dangerous however they were not really the destructive type in fact, the Jiron were more of a peace bringers, but they guarded their secrets with highly care and high reasons. How so? Particular reasons is for good reasons, meaning they guard them because they knew that people would get corrupted by them. The Jidon knew that they were immune to it, so they kept it away from prying eyes and people, in fact. That, however, the Hokage's father wanted it for himself. But he knew he was not going to allow it to happen. Huh. Okay. for the info. No problem. What do you want me to do? 
we want you to find out more about this white, this uh, skull of Eden. We don't want to force you. It is up to you if you wish to help us. You helped me, and plus you allowed me to marry Madara. You allowed me to marry Regara. It's the least I can do. Well, that's good to hear. Alright. Let's give it a shot, huh? Yup. Izuku. I mean, this one Naruto pretty much just walks down to the second part of the town. So what are you gonna do? As a matter of fact, this one they hear a mysterious cheek. And this one Naruto feels something around his neck. Shit. Move and he dies. Ah, Hokage. Why would you do this? My great grandfather died looking for the skull of Eden. I try to persuade Naruto in a way I want. I don't want to do this. And yet, you put this in my neck. I need your help, and I'm getting it. Rather you like it or not. Well, I'm sorry to say this, so, Miss Hokage, but my answer remains no. But before Naruto can even summon a bone, he hears a kill. This is when he turns around to see that the Sankage was right behind him. No one harms my family and lives. And he just pulls it out. And this is when pretty much the Sankage is now laying. Even we do through that thing, you know, the way they talk. You shouldn't have doing. You should have not followed your father's path. No? All those those Edens were mine by right. No one deserves the power. It is not meant for mortals. We are only mortals. We cannot handle that power. We can never handle that power. That type of power does not need to be in the, anyone's hands. As a matter of fact, it needs to be in the opposite hands. It needs to stay away from the hand, hands of evil. Like you, Sas like you, and Sasuke, and Sakura. I'm just a pawn. I don't truly control... Hold it. I know. Our spy told us. You were for doing this out of no glory, but out of, of wit. You're doing this because you want to, not because you pity. So this is how our friendship ends. I'm afraid so, Hokage. If only, if only you did not come if only you told me I could help you we can't run from the past forever maybe not but we can try to help people but you chose this path and you chose poorly You 
chose the path of war. While I tried to choose the opposite path and tried to find the light. If only you did not choose the path that you have chosen. We could have swore something out. Goodbye, old friend. Anubis is waiting for you. And that's when he pretty much the Hokage he disappears. Back to the real world. This is when he puts a feather on the blood. I mean, a bloody, a feather in blood. Hokage was a dear friend of mine. It stings my heart to know that this has happened. But unfortunately, we cannot stop what we cannot protect. He chose his path as we did. I just wish there was a way to stop him. You know? Now must move on. What about the Skull of Eden? You have any way idea where we can find it? The Skull of Eden is not in this country, and luckily for us, it can never. What do you mean? Before the or the Chidon passed away, they hid the skull in where the last place would be expected. And unfortunately, I won't tell you due to its secret. Understandable. But what about Sakura? She's going to be trying her best to look for it. Obito, our spy, who keep us contact. Wait, so it was Obito who ordered the entire Uchiha clan destroyed? Ichi nods. Why? The Uchiha clan were Templars. Ichi, right here, was the, fir was the first ever a first ever Uchiha to join the Creed. What about Madara? Madara was the creator, so that makes him the second. Actually, now I think about it. I was going to say, and the Uzumakis, I'm afraid you're the first to ever one to be a member of the Creed. I see. So none of us are really good. I'm afraid so. So what now? We can only pray that our future generation can fight this corruption and find Make sure that the Skull of Eden never gets in the hands of, of the enemy. Now we get back to Naruto. In fact, we go to a couple of centuries now, and we get to a certain person. Hey, Joe! Oh, whoa! Uh, where the hell did you get this skull? I got it from Amiibe. Why the hell did you get a skull? Oh, bro. I wanted it. It looked cool. Plus, I thought it'd be cool. Plus, it's a nightlight. It glows in the dark. Nay, but why do you need a nightlight? I. Three? What do you think, neighbor? Ah. Uh. Hey, Joe. Thanks. <sighs> this one here. Well, this is, uh. Well, interesting. Yeah. This is going to be interesting. And we're dating his... And we're dating their son. You ready this for... You ready for this, Kakashi? Yep. Hey, babes. Where are you? We're up here, sweetie. How the hell did you two get up a tree? We can't get down. I'm coming, babe. I say about getting stuck in a tree. Don't? What do you do? I get stuck in a tree. We'll be careful next time, okay, sweetie? 
Okay. And yeah, that's our, that's where I'll leave it off. Like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. This has been Dunkle Dylan here, God of Chaos, and hope to God my mother comes back from the hot, and hope to God my mom feels better. Bye.